Now, at least 11 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank in multiple raids. One of the attacks targeted the village of Budras early on Thursday morning. 69 Palestinians have been killed and 1,300 have been injured by Israeli forces or settlers in the occupied West Bank since the 7th of October. Let's speak now to Nida Ibrahim. She joins us from Ramallah. And Nida, when we last spoke last hour, there was a raid ongoing in Al-Sham's refugee camp. What's the latest that's happening there now? Well, the raid in the Noor Shams refugee camp near Tul Karim seems to be ongoing, and according to locals, they expect it to be a long one with Israeli forces taking homes and positioning there. We've already seen an exchange of fire between the armed groups in the camp and the Israeli forces that have been raiding the area for more than five hours. Now they're expanding the siege on the camp, and it's getting towards the uh, uh, outskirts of the refugee camp. We are seeing bulldozers damaging the roads. They've cut electricity already. People are having problems connecting to the Internet as well. And this is not the first time. It's important to note that we were there three weeks ago, and the Israeli forces have uh, raided refu the refugee camp cut electricity, damage the roads. So it's something that usually happens, but according to locals, the intensity of the raid, the reinforcements that are coming into the camp shows that it might be a long raid. Already we've seen one Palestinian uh, being killed by Israeli fire, a child, 16-year-old, and when his father tried to approach him to help him and fetch him away, he was wounded as well. The uh, son lost his life, and he was uh, basically presented to his father uh, for the last farewell while the father was inside the hospital. Because the situation is still uh, ongoing and intense, the funeral of this child uh, and 16-year-old is not sure when it's going to take place. And basically, it's an intense situation. It's an unfolding story there. And Nida, not just there, is it? We've got a number of Palestinians killed in the occupied West Bank in the last hour or two, jumping from 4 to 11. Tell us about raids that are happening elsewhere. Well, according to the latest information we have from the Palestinian Health Ministry, just in the last 12 hours, we're talking about seven Palestinians who have been killed by Israeli forces and by Israeli settlers in different raids that took place in the occupied West Bank, including a raid that uh, demolished the home of a Palestinian that Israel accuses of committing an attack against Israelis in July. Also, another 14-year-old in a Dehesha refugee camp as a part of another raid. So it is an intense situation, and we're seeing the number of arrests arrests also jumping higher and higher. We've been reporting uh, 80 now. The number has raised to 97, basically bringing the total of those arrested since the beginning of the escalation in the besieged Gaza Strip to uh, more than 850 Palestinians arrested by the Israeli forces. So, and already we're expecting this number to rise as the count is still ongoing for who was arrested, who was killed and who was injured. Okay, Nida Ibrahim, bring us the latest there from the occupied West Bank. Thanks very much, Nida.